hello my seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel it's such a blessing to have you right back here with me today's reading is for aries aries it is your day to shine please shine bright like a diamond also please make a note that if this reading does not resonate to your present situation please do not get hurt offended or in your feelings it only simply means that this particular reading is not for you but if you come back another day that one just might be also if it is your first time here and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe and turn your post notifications on so that way you will always be the first to be notified whenever I upload brand new content. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push those videos out into a much wider audience and the channel and that particular video will grow, okay? So let's get these videos thumbs up, y'all. All right, for all my returning seekers, please know that I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for all your love and for all your support. I see the love and trust me, I'm embracing all that good love, all that good energy. Please make a note that the card has been shuffled and the card has also been blessed. However, before I get into all my readings, I always have to pray first. Asking the Lord to send his most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. And just to give me the right words and the messages that you want me to share with you, the seekers, only for the ones that needs to know. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I said you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send on you most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the messages that you want me to share with the seekers, only for the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. All right, my darling. So this reading is a general. Please take it as it resonates to you. Um, it could also be in reverse. Um... Um, the angels might want you to know about a love um, that's past, present, or future. It could be a career path. It could be whatever the angel wants you to know, all right? So let's stay positive and let positivity flow into this reading. All right, is, angels, is there any messages that you need me to share? Is there any messages you need me to share? What is it that you need me to share? What is it that you need me to share? Please, anything. Okay. Okay, angels are saying here, I know you guys still talk, okay? They're saying that um, someone kind of suspect or either found out about a situation, okay? They're saying that, um, they, I know that you still guys still talk. I feel like someone is probably lying about not talking to a certain person, okay? Um... Someone is saying here, I know that you said guys still talk. So I feel like there's a situation coming through right here where someone um, probably like got busted. Maybe somebody uh, kind of sneaked on somebody's phone, maybe checked someone's email, maybe eardropping, listening, um, finding out something that someone did not say. Or maybe someone told someone not to do that certain thing and they did it. Or someone said, I know that you guys still talk. I feel like there's a, a situation coming maybe with a past relationship where someone does not want that person to have anything to do with that person, okay? Chemistry, the attraction that you feel is mutual, okay? So I see where um, these two people do have a uh, chemistry. You and the person do have a very strong connection here. Um, I'm just saying that the attraction that you feel is mutual. So this is a two-way street. You two both feel the same way on the same level, all right? Um, but I feel like, this energy that is coming in is a very demanding one. They like things to go their way, okay? All we did was yell at each other, okay? So, you guys have chemistry, yes. But someone does not want someone to do. Someone wants want what they want, when they want, how to do it, and you have to do it always. There will be some problems, okay? This is what I'm seeing right here. All we did was yell at each other, back and forth, bickering, bickering. And that is only because someone over here does not want you to communicate with some people. I'm feeling maybe your person don't want you to communicate with either friends or family as well. It doesn't have to be a past relationship. It could be um, a very selfish one where they want you for themselves, to themselves, okay? Okay. 
Um, someone is saying here, I want to have a family one day. Maybe um, someone is thinking children, um, wanting to build stability with this person. Um, maybe something is um, stopping that from happening. Okay, and you're just saying here, put your time and energy into all the things you've loved about you. All right, so maybe I'm seeing you maybe the timing is kind of off. Okay, the timing might be a little off to have this family with this person, all right? You guys have chemistry, and that's for sure, but you still have some things to work on. There's still um, some communication issue going on here. Someone um, kind of wants you to stay with them and only them. I do all that I can do. Okay, so someone said here they do all they can do for this relationship. Um, as far as trusting is concerned, as far as being there for your person. And someone's feeling that's all they can do. It, it can't prove anything anymore. Because you've already gave all the love and loyalty that you can give. Someone is definitely... It's not like they don't know and don't see it. But they're very um, dominating. Very strong head, very strong way. And just says you got to put your time and energy into all the, all the things you loved about yourself, okay? And they want you to do that, and they say that it's critical that you do that, okay? And just are also saying here, what is the outcome of us working together? So maybe for some of you, even though you guys have this chemistry, it could be like a chemistry where there is like a, a really strong sexual connection here. That chemistry that keeps you guys together. Um, but y'all have not seen eye to eye, okay? You're not seeing eye to eye because your person wants to have you into a, a little box. And someone is about to burst off of their shell. What am I heading towards, Okay. What am I heading towards? Someone wants to have a family here. Someone wants to have a family. Someone wants to have the stability. Someone wants to have that foundation. What am I heading towards? Let's see what you're going to head towards, all right? Let's find out. Someone has some questions. Angels, let's get to work. Let's get to work. All right, someone is broken here. It just says that um, I feel shattered about the situation. So someone is feeling very um, broken about what's happening here. Okay, your person and you is definitely not seeing eye to eye at all. Um, someone wants um, to have a family. Someone wants the stability. Someone wants the happy ending. Um, and someone wants to keep someone in a box. I feel someone is not giving that um, stability right here. They're not ready for the for, to have a child yet, to bring a child into the relationship, into the situation. The time is ticking. Clock. Time. Okay? Someone is feeling like maybe they're running out of time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Right? Someone is, 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 is worried about... Um, that time is running out. Time. Time is critical. Um, but uh, it's just saying soul tie here. I feel connected to you. There is con a connection for sure. And you guys do have chemistry. Okay. However, the chemistry is not strong enough to bring life into the situation. Okay. Because you guys are not seen eye to eye. Not seen eye to eye. Dishonesty and neglected. All right, so someone feels like someone was um dishonest by lying. I ripped us apart. So someone is saying that they did lie to you about a situation. All right. Okay. Broken. The situation had someone feeling very broken, for sure. Dishonesty. 
um, neglected, all right? I failed to give you what you needed. Okay, so what you need is stability, foundation, family structure. And your person is saying that they fail at giving you what it is that you needed, for sure. The ego got in the best way. All right, their ego got the best of them. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So they're saying that the connection could have been stronger. That could have led to the happy ending. Their ego. Their ego is what kept them and wanted you to stay into that little box. That was your first, your first card that came up. I know you guys still talk. All we did was yell at each other. Ego. That's what caused that. Unappreciated. Someone felt, felt very unappreciated with this entire situation here. Because you felt like you gave all and you, there was nothing more to give. The lesson I learned from us will never be forgotten. So your person is saying that they did learn a lesson from all of this right here. Even if they had to move on, move forward, um, you they could never forget this relationship because it did open their eyes to a lot of things. They have learned a whole lot from this situation here. And they basically wish they could do things different. Things could have been, been done differently. But instead of kind of trying to communicate and trying to understand where you were coming from, they just let their ego got the best of it. The ego, their ego got in the way. And that ego caused you to feel very unappreciated and broken. And neglected and they're sorry for that okay I hope one day that uh, maybe you could find in your heart to forgive your person because uh, your your healing structure will benefit from your moving forward okay so I hope this reading did help um please take it as it resonates to you also remember to pray because prayer is essential to your daily life um pray positivity into your life always but most of all always remember to seek first and you will always find.